Welcome to San Diego Market Movers. I'm your host, Valley, and I'm here with Mary Lawler. Welcome back to the show. It's good to see you again. Thanks. Nice to see you too, Valley. Thank you so much. Appreciate being a guest always. All right. Well, Thanks. I have some advice, or I have a, I need your advice, rather. Oh, okay. Can flippers still make money flipping homes in San Diego? Uh, absolutely. I think the market has changed a bit for uh, whether you call them a flipper or an investor. Uh, the market has become a lot more heated. So there's way more competition. Mm -hmm. You have your traditional people who are maybe smaller, who want to buy homes and flip them on a mom and pop scale, one, mm -hmm. one by one, maybe house hacking, which means you live in it while you flip it, mm -hmm. uh, while you renovate. And then there are the companies that, that come in and buy um, a few and renovate at, at a, a larger scale. Then there's some who, who renovate a lot at once. What you have now are wholesalers who are coming in, um, you know, to 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 have a contract on one and then resell the contract prior to closing to someone else, and they make the money in the margin. Mm. And there's a lot more of them, and they're not licensed generally, so they're a new player, to, you know, relatively speaking, in the game. Um, and then inventory; mm. those are the, the, the biggest challenges on on the the I guess on the the housing side of it just finding the right property that isn't already being stampeded by uh, by people. Um, so labor is mm -hmm. the other big big factor. So you have interest rates too. So it, you know there's a cost to doing business, cost to getting a home ready. Um, always unexpected stuff happens. So they factor in a certain bloat, if you will, or shrink if you're in retail, whatever it is yeah. that an, an overage. Um, but labor is tough because we have a lot of laborers are coming from Mexico. They're having difficulty getting across the border presently. Mm -hmm. um, our little micro market here in December, it's the holidays. A lot of people aren't working, so they're taking time off. And, um, and a lot of um, people aren't necessarily as accomplished in the trades. Mm -hmm. so, so the labor folks who actually do the work uh, you know, they're not the not the contractor necessarily or the project manager, but but the guys who are uh, laying the tile. Yep, the crew um, might be less experienced, or there just are fewer of them, mm. and and it makes it much more difficult to manage a renovation project. Got it. So it's like delaying it a little bit because they're short staffed essentially. Yes. Because the border weights are insane right now. Yeah, border weights are are a factor. Um, they're fewer drywallers they're mm -hmm. just fewer tradesmen mm -hmm. trades women trades people mm -hmm. if you will uh and and i i can't cast dispersions and say people don't want to work but there are right now fewer people who want to do you know hard work trade. well i do think we're lacking in the trades field too you know we pushed agree. a different type of like careers on our youth and so you know like young 20s they're they're we're missing tradesmen. Yep. And so those people that we are, we're filling the jobs if they can get here, but the fact that they're having a hard time getting here, there's not as many people available here that are here already. Yeah, exactly. And living wage, there's, there's a lot of factors that feed into that. You know, how they, and the, the renovators have to build those factors into acquisition and resale. Yeah. So, uh, it's a kind of a complex formula, but I would say my answer is yes, money can still be made flipping, renovating homes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just more complex in uh, in the 23 and 24. And as inventory is tight, uh, I, I don't see it improving much right uh, right now. You really have to be on top of your numbers. Like they say, time is money. Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> All right, right, Mary, you're so lovely. Thank you so much for being oh, on the show. Thank you for having me, Valley. Thanks, guys.